गुड इवनिंग आई एम बैक अगेन फॉर अ वीक एंड चैट विथ यू सम व्यूअर बाय द नेम दीप सिंह ही रोड वेरी काइंड वर्ड्स इन द कमेंट एंड ही टोल्ड मी हाउ डिड वी डू मैथमेटिकल थिंकिंग बिफोर द एज ऑफ द इंटरनेट और टू मच इंटरनेट वेयर एवरीथिंग इज पॉसिबली देयर ऑन द नेट for any mathematical query that you can ask whether it's uh, what is the sequence to what is the para compact space or what is the meaning of relatively compact set to what is the meaning of the sub differential of a convex function everything is available latest research is available good research is available bad research is available everything is there on the net excellently well written lecture notes are available and also not so well written lecture notes are available so then me in my 50s 52 to be precise how do i uh, view my life in mathematics or whether i can at all call it a life in mathematics or not so let me start at the end of my so called mathematical education the formal one the actual education starts after you end your formal education that has been my experience so let me go back to my phd days i joined my phd program in mathematics at the place where i did my msc after a few months stint in a corporate in the corporate world where i immediately realized that this world is not for me i enjoyed the world of ideas much more than the corporate world the blackboard the library these things are more dearer to me the books the computers of course uh so when i started um, you know what i i was initially interested in functional analysis i uh, was really interested in how functional analysis could be used for example in a subject like quantum mechanics which wants to describe the real physical world and how functional analysis allows to do such analysis so when i do such deep uh, analysis of ideas that can actually represent physical reality that was very intriguing this i'm still intrigued by the connection of mathematics and physics actually uh, it's 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 a real thing it it's it, it drives the universe possibly you might ask me why didn't you apply for tifr okay why didn't you apply for indian statistical institute why didn't you apply for some better places i did apply to some other iits like bombay or chennai like i i got in chennai but i didn't some out i chose back to come back to kharagpur for several reasons uh, some professional some personal but the issue that lies at the heart of my not choosing such institutes was my choice of the subject i have a love for pure mathematics the pure ideas of mathematics the concepts but somehow professionally i i feel i am more inclined to do kind of applied mathematics i want to see how these ideas are applied to various other places optimization was never my choice the subject of my research now which i consider one of my loves was never my choice as a youngster in school i was enamored by geometry and still enamored by it in my undergraduate days i was enamored by classical mechanics and enamored by newton's view of the world still enamored by it and when i was doing my uh, master there was an amount by functional analysis that 
it's the story in mathematics is about spaces and functions are acting on those spaces and taking points to real numbers or functionals every a lot of applications in mathematics is driven by this idea in fact functional analysis was developed to solve problems of calculus of addition which by the way is a old subject and we will do a little bit it is a part of optimization and we will do a, do something about it as time goes on my supervisor two supervisors one of them younger one of them elder the younger one was pretty enthusiastic because he now has a first student in his life and a young one that too and he told me to look into fixed point problems so given a function f say from r to r real line to real line find a point x such that fx equal to x you know the function y equal to x every point is a fixed point but now suppose you take an interval 0 1 to 0 1 and take the function y equal to x square between in the interval 0 1 so here f actually maps 0 1 to 0 1 now if you draw the line y equal to x you will see that at x equal to 1 and at x equal to 0 the function value is same as the x values y values are same as the x values so find an x for which fx is equal to x when it doesn't change x is not changed that is why it's called a fixed point and when you talk about correspondences etc things become slightly more uh, involved and fixed points are, has tremendous applications in economic theory very important applications in many areas of uh, modern operator theory many areas like monotone operators uh, like uh, what are called non expansive operators and you know contractive operators there are famous results like banach fixed point theorem and browder fixed point theorem and so on and so forth it's, it's it's a whole subject by itself and of course it towards to be studied but then when i was looking at the thing i was very restless i still do not understand what's my connection with mathematics only thing i know that i am in love with it i cannot consider myself to be tremendously brilliant anything what i understand that i cannot do mathematics fast for me mathematics is a slow thing it's a pleasurable thing one of the many pleasures of life So if I look at a problem, I'll think about it. If I look at a concept, I'll think about it. Maybe when I look at it for the first time, I don't understand it. Maybe after five days or six days, while driving out on the road or just taking taking a ride on my bicycle or just walking simply, I'll suddenly have an idea. Okay, boss, this is the best best way to think about it. So those little pleasures of mathematics is what I seek from mathematics. So I cannot be a very fast one that you put me in an examination hall and you in an oral exam setting and you ask me okay i give you this problem solve it on the board tell us this and that i get scared because mathematics is something for me which has to be enjoyed i have to have fun i cannot have fun when i am scared i had always been scared about examinations so i never consider examining somebody the key way to know his capability the only way is to sit sit in a friendly discussion then things come out actually we we are no one to judge anyone's capability people are very very capable you just have to like a thing right everybody has it's not that everybody has to have capability in mathematics or like mathematics for those who even like mathematics there are a lot of people like me who fizzle out because we cannot give them a space for their alternative way of thinking i will consider myself very lucky so from today i'll do a two three part talk today is the first one uh, about my life as a mathematics mathematician i will still consider myself to be a student of mathematics uh i uh so i was looking at the research papers you were asking me to read oh my god i was looking at some strange things and the certain conditions the function must follow and then there will be a fixed point 
it appeared to me that oh my goodness i can never make up new results with so many conditions i can never think about them i need certain simple things anyway life moved on i was more interested in chatting with friends and going around uh, whatever in those days young students do i would also do the same uh, only unfortunately many people think that i did in you know smoke or drink or something like that but other things are there of course it's always a pleasure even to exchange with you the viewer but one day my supervisor took me to the library and he took out a journal called the siam review and in it there was a paper published in 1989 written by ralph tyrell rockefeller whose name i had never heard till then the paper was called lagrange multipliers and optimality and i was shocked i said no 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 i have nothing to do with optimization mm -hmm. i got the works worst marks in my life in operations research in my masters the worst grade was in or i was almost failing the teacher passed me i never liked or some teacher came and just talked about simplex method something something i was sitting in the back of the classroom with one of my friends and uh, who is a corporate honcho of course uh, now and when the when the teacher was mostly towards the you know, looking at the board he was turned to, he turned towards the board and he was writing from his notes and many of the days we used to slip out to the canteen i'm giving a very bad advice but that is what we do as students many of us so he, i said no 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 nothing doing i i almost failed in operations research or optimization he said you see when my uh, supervisor professor vetrival told me you see when i was a student i loved this subject this is a wonderful subject you don't know about it and then he said if you don't do it then i better you deregister and go away phd is not for you i said what but i love mathematics how can i say the phd is not for me he said, okay if you love mathematics you just have a look at it it was like you do not want to go on a date you are essentially forced to go on a date but at the end what happens i ended falling in love rockefeller's convex analysis is a legendary book of math mathematics which i had reviewed in one of my uh, videos so i started reading that paper because i thought okay agar mujhe nikal dega to if it really throws me out then things would be very bad for me so better i conform a bit so i simply started looking at things looking at the paper i could read up to 7 8 or 9 pages uh, the technical level was simple enough for me to understand for a person like me to understand and then that writing was so beautiful that it convinces me it sorry rather sorry wrong english it convinced me to take up optimization as a research subject and it was the feeling of falling in love and i have never looked back whenever i still do optimization i still think that i want to tread the path which terry rockefeller has taken and uh, i will continue telling this story of what happened and how how i completed my phd went to my post doc and my research life later on uh, i still consider myself more as a student of mathematics than a mathematician for me uh, the best way to learn about mathematics is not just from internet it is a good source but uh, all the sources may not be very reliable not only from great books or good books but the best way to learn mathematics is by discussion with peers with other uh, mathematicians and i'll tell you such stories and uh, so today i begin this uh, section called the life of an average mathematician uh, the mathematics that i wanted to know so this is a kind of chat that we are having with me and my viewers so if i tell this story to others 
uh, people won't believe it because people will think, well, this doesn't happen. You, you are, you know, doing coursework and then you are getting your comprehensive and all. Those things are there too for me. But choosing the research subject, and I was very, uh, I was wondering that what happened. I am falling in love with Lagrange multipliers, and lo, it has been so many years. And Lagrange multipliers is still with me. I, I feel an obsessive pull towards convexity and Lagrange multipliers still. Because there's so many things in mathematics and applications where Lagrange multipliers remain the key. Without them, a lot of things won't happen. So let me end here. So how I actually got my res into my research subject. So it, it's very unlike, it's, it's a very uncommon math story. I am not a brilliant person, I am a very ordinary person. But it is only the love for the subject that keeps me moving, keeps me moving, that's it, nothing else. Uh, so let me say a good evening, or, uh, sorry, goodbye on a Friday evening. I am sure we are all bored staying at home. Maybe you would like to put on your mask and go out for a walk. I would also like to go out for a walk. But maybe having these little chats uh, would help us. Maybe some stories of maths and mathematicians would be told. So in fact, once I wanted to write a book called The Life of an Average Mathematician, maybe one day I will do it. Uh, uh, Life of an Average Mathematician, the mathematics that I wanted to know. So this series will continue. So, and uh, many other exciting things will come along. So do stay on with me friends and if you are looking at my thing for the first time just like other YouTubers I am also learning to become a YouTuber and I am now telling you subscribe button dawa dijiye press the subscribe button and doesn't matter you can always have a chat on a Friday evening with an average mathematician. Thank you friends. Goodbye.